Now let's discuss about the switching transitions in transformers. From this you will know why transformer will drive more matters in current while perform the switching operations and what is the portion of transformer that is affected due to these switching transitions and how to protect it and what is the dominant harmonic in transient period and what is the dominant harmonic in steady state period. Now let's analyze this. So switching transitions are the fast and sharp increase of voltages and currents in transformers during switching operations that is during tap changings which means that during tap changing of transformers there will be sharp and fast increase in voltages and currents and those are called as switching transitions these switching transitions will cause a serious damage to the transformers and the severity of these switching transitions depends on the instant at which the tap changing is performed. That is, if tap changing is performed at zero voltage instant, then the severity is very high. And if the switching operation is done at maximum voltage instant, then the severity is low. To understand this, let's consider the phasor diagram of transformer in which this represents the voltage and this represents the flux phi. And if permeability is constant, then I mu will be in phase with flux phi. This means that flux will lag by an angle 90 degrees to V. So from this phase diagram, if flux phi is like this, then voltage waveform will be like this. So this is voltage waveform and this is the flux waveform, which is the desired waveform. The study of a circuit or an element between this 0 minus and 0 plus is called transient analysis. And these waveforms which we drawn here represents the steady state waveforms. Means we consider these waveforms under steady state condition. Now let's have a look what happens within 0 minus and 0 plus. If the initial conditions are assumed 0, then there will be nothing between 0 minus and 0. So let's observe what happens between 0 and 0 plus. So this period is called here transient period and this period is steady state period. So this is the voltage waveform under steady state condition and this is the flux waveform under steady state condition and this flux is the desired flux. And now let's draw the voltage waveform between 0 and 0 plus. So, this is the voltage waveform between 0 and 0 plus. And similarly, let's draw the flux waveform between 0 and 0 plus. So, from this you can note that for 0 voltage, the flux desired is minus 5 m. But please keep in mind that flux can't be produced instantaneously and can't be changed instantaneously. But if you observe from the steady state, these are the desired waveforms. So in transient state, if these are the waveforms here, then we will get these waveforms in steady state. So for zero voltage here, there must be minus 5 m. But from this you can note that flux can't be produced instantaneously and it can't be changed instantaneously, which means that here for zero voltage, now flux will start developing like this and when it reaches the steady state it must be overlapped with this waveform which means that this flux will be increased like this and it will tend to overlap with the desired flux waveform. So from the transient period you must note that this is what the desired flux but this is not present in transient period but what is present in transient period means this flux waveform and which is having a maximum value of 2 phi m this is the actual flux waveform in transient period now observe the voltage waveform transient period 
if switching action takes place at maximum value of voltage so from this statement it can be noted that flux can't be produced instantaneously it means for this maximum value of voltage the flux will start build up in like this it means it will follow the desired flux waveform means here in transient period the flux value is 5m if the switching operation takes place at maximum value of voltage but if the switching operation takes place at zero instant of voltage waveform then the flux will take this path and upon reaching the steady state it will get overlapped with the desired waveform from this waveform we must understand that in transient period if switching operation takes place at maximum value of voltage level then the maximum value of flux is 5m and if the switching operation takes place at zero instant then the flux will have a maximum value of 2 phi m so what is the effect of having maximum value as phi m or maximum value of 2 phi m in transient period for that consider this for phi m the magnetizing current will be i mu which is 4 to 5 percentage of full load current and for 2 phi m the magnetizing current i mu will be phi to 7 times the full load current if in a machine there is a current more than the full load current that will damage the machine and here in case of transformer if there is 2 phi m that will cause the transformer to drag a magnetizing current of 5 to 7 times the full load current now you can imagine the serious damage that will cause by this value of magnetizing current if the flux is 2 phi m so there shouldn't be 2 phi m and this 2 phi m is got by switching the transformer at zero instant so to have less severe effect we need to switch the transformer at maximum voltage instant because at maximum voltage instant flux phi is zero and from there onwards flux will follow the desired flux waveform and which is having a maximum value of phi m and for this value of phi m we are having i mu one which is four to five percentage of full load current value and from the emf equation e is directly proportional to the flux phi so if the switching operation is done at zero voltage instant we are getting two phi m which means that here emfs are doubled and these emfs are called as impulse emfs and they exist for 1 by 50 second if suppose this is the transformer primary and let us suppose this is the transformer secondary which are having tappings as these impulse emfs exist for 1 by 50 second means these emfs will exist in extreme 5 percent ends of the transformers so switching transitions will cause damage to the extreme 5 percent ends of the transformers which might short circuit the turns and which will be very serious effect therefore to product these extreme 5 percent ends more insulation must be provided at these extreme 5 percent ends and the type of insulation to be used at these extreme 5 percent ends is step graded type of insulation and if you observe the magnetizing waveform during transition period and steady state period it will be this is transient period and let this be the steady state period in transient period there exists double effect because emfs are doubled and in transient period the most dominant harmonic is second order harmonics whereas in steady state the most dominant harmonic is third order harmonics because in steady state the waveforms are symmetric about x axis so the second order harmonic will get cancelled so is why the most dominant harmonic of a transformer in steady state is third order harmonic whereas in transient state it is second order harmonic this is about the switching transitions in transformers and the conclusion here is that to have less severity the switching operations must be done at peak value of voltages whereas maximum severity will occur if the tap changings occurs at zero voltage instance 
and if the switching operation takes place at zero instant the flux is having a maximum value of 2 phi m because of which we are getting double impulse emfs and they will exist at extreme 5 percent end because they will remain for only 1 by 50th second so these impulse emfs will cause damage to the extreme 5 percent ends of the transformers and to product that we are using stapulated type of insulation thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please like this video and share this video and do subscribe to this channel thank you see you in next lecture